Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you've had a lovely Christmas and a lovely New Year. Um, I've just done an Audi food shop and I thought, do you know what? I haven't done one of these in absolutely ages. Let's just film it, let's crack on with it, film it. I've got a receipt, which is literally like as big as Vinny. Loads of bargains today installed. They cut all the Christmas stuff down to silly prices. So I picked up quite a few little bits and pieces for Christmas. Um, some good food, like you do at Aldi. Um, yeah, I spent, tell you how much I spent. I'm rambling here, I? Hold on a minute, let me get the receipt. I spent, um, £69.23, I didn't buy any bags, just called my own with me um, and I took two kids with me today because one's poorly and the other one obviously is Vinny who, yeah, tried to get a toddler, they're trying to climb out of a trolley and God knows what but um, I survived, I did it, I'm home, it's unpacked and let's crack on and see what I got when I went to Aldi this week. Right, I've organised it all the way down, excuse the washing up there. All the way round, round, round. As I said, um, I don't know if I did say, did I say? I don't know. There was some stuff that I didn't need because I get my washing liquids and stuff from like Asda or Tesco, whichever is the cheapest. I always use the um, aerial one um, because it just, it's better for Vinny's skin basically. So let's get on with the Aldi stuff, stop rambling and I'll show you what I got. So I got some large dishcloths because I hate monkey dishcloths and I throw them after a while. I got this cot bed uh, mattress protector 50p absolute bargain so that can keep his mattress nice and clean i got the swing bin liners i have this bin from ikea and these bin liners fit my bin perfectly get 30 of them these were my christmas bargain buys i got this christmas tree one and I got this Christmas pudding one. These should have been a fiver each and they were cut down to 19p each. So I'm going to put them away for carol services, etc. They have the baby event on, but I only picked up one thing in the baby event. It was this newbie flex straw cup because Vinny's obsessed with the big kids' straw cups. So I picked him up this little straw cup. This is $1.99. Jumbo kitchen rolls. Always get the mammy a wipes. These are the is it extra sensitive. Sensitive. Sensitive ones. He gets on really, really well with those wipes. And they're actually cheaper now than they normally are. Teddy faces. Again, these don't contain milk. So they're a lot cheaper than buying pom bears. Um, and some of the, like, the other snacks that I'd have to buy him. So six bags. You can't go wrong with the price of them. Rita wanted these for her packed lunch boxes, so she'll take one a day of those. She's look, she's already been into it. Does anyone else have this? The kids raid the shopping as they go around. Got some toasty muffins. Nathan is obsessed with these, having one of these in the morning before school. Two packs of crumpets because we go through crumpets like that. Don't, we've been a big family. With having six kids, we use loads and loads of bread. So I got two packs of crumpets. You got six in a pack. I also got a loaf of warburtons. Always get the medium sliced white warburtons. Picked up two reduced packs of crumpets. I'm going to put these straight into my freezer. These go out of date today and they were 18p a packet. So we'll do like crumpet and eggs, crumpet and melted cheese, whatever. Um, can't go wrong, can you? 18p a packet. So just stick them in the freezer. Vinny loves these wraps. Again, they don't contain any milk. Um, I've got him little mini ones because I was just tearing a wrap in half. So I've got two packs of big ones and I've picked up the little mini ones. These are only 49p. So it saves ripping a big one in half. You can just wrap him straight up a little one. These brush, is it brush, brusher rolls? Um, again, Nathan Reed to call, absolutely love these and they're great for taking in the pack lunch box. I just got some everyday essential pen pasta. Can't believe the stock in these. Like I used to go to Asda or Bootsies to get these, but finally they have biscuits that Vinnie can eat. These do not contain milk, um, and they I've, I think it was in 99p or a pound, but they're like one pound fifty in the supermarket. So head down to Aldi if you, if you get the organic goodies biscuits. Tuna because we go for a lot of tuna. These will get done easy in under a week. So four tins of tuna in brine. The coffee, which I find is all right. I used to get the more expensive branded ones, but I get this one. Um, I think it's about one ninety nine, isn't it? And I seem to get on really well with that. Two tins of tomato soup because the kids love the tomato soup. Two packets of noodles. Probably should have picked up more, but Vinny was getting a bit edgy as we got towards the last aisle, so just picked up two chicken noodles. 
honey because the kids love honey on their cereal karma sauce because i've got loads and loads of chicken in the freezer so i'm going to make a karma garden peas because these are so handy to have in for vinny just to warm up really quick at lunch time again i've got loads of mints since christmas in the freezer so i got a um, cream sauce and a tomato sauce to do a big family size lasagna these will be perfect size to do me a massive big roasting tin lasagna run out of gravy granules so pick these ones up big giant size one i'm going to try some garlic infused olive oil this time so yeah I'll let you know how i get on with that but it looks really really nice look at that in the bottom how nice does that look I picked up this, which was in the Christmas reduced section. Strawberries and Marc de Champagne jam. Looks amazing. You can see all the fruits in the bottom. And that was cut down to 49p. So, yeah. Mm. Get that on a crumpet this weekend. Yummy, yummy. Um, some sliced peaches. Didn't have any decent ones in, so I just picked these up. Wouldn't normally get them in syrup, but we don't have any for tomorrow morning. And Vinny is obsessed with having sliced peaches for his breakfast. So I picked those up. They'll have to do. Um, baked beans with sausages. Again, these are a nice little quick, simple thing to warm up for Vinny to have. Some basic chopped tomatoes. So I picked up this, which was again in the Christmas reduced section. A big three metres turkey foil was 49p. Can't go wrong for that, can you? And I picked up four of these big giant turkey trays at 19p each. So basically for these, like, I, I can put either do a gammon joint or a, a big chicken. I'm just going to whack it in there and I don't have to worry about washing up my tray. I'll just bin it. This was the absolute bargain of all bargains. Let me just go back to show you how big that box is. It has three light up parcels, includes the adapter to plug in. Was reduced down to one ninety nine, and I've wanted some of these for ages. So that I'm so chuffed that we've picked them up. That is amazing. Such such a good bargain. I then got Eddie his beer. He just likes these ones. I say beer, it's lager, isn't it? I'm just not a massive. We're not, we don't do lots of drinking, me and Eddie. But yeah, he always gets these, and they're about two pounds something. Some light squirty cream because the kids love the squirty cream, and I always pick the light one up. Just think, might as well save in a bit less sugar and fat, etc. I love this one because it reminds me of the Pepsi Max um, Coke. This non-alcoholic mold punch was in the sale again in Christmas, nineteen pee a bottle can you believe that so i thought the girls could have some punch um i love their butter at aldi I always put one of these with the slightly salted option sweet what is some cheese strings again my kids have been in the packets um so she's had a cheese string in the car um picked those up again that was rita's put me in the trolley it is a chocolate fudge cake so she'll have that the will all of that with squirty cream for a pudding I picked up one of these because me and Neve love this pasta. Just drop it in a pan, it's super easy, and put a little bit of tomato, like the chopped tomatoes. I'd probably put that in a pan, boil it, and then just literally just chuck some of these chopped tomatoes over the top, a little bit of black pepper, and me and Neve love meals like that. Um, honey cured ham and some of the butcher style pork sausages the kids love pork sausages from aldi nathan is a cream cheese maniac so i always pick up at least two cream cheeses every single week and he prefers the full fat option so for the freezer section i bought potato wedges i bought the battered chicken dippers i bought some of the french fries I always do this, take my pizzas out of the box and leave the boxes in the paper bin at Aldi. They just have it by where you're bagging all your shopping because it just saves putting it all in my bin at home. So I got two cheese and I got the American Sizzler. I got potato croquets because we all love potato croquets. Obviously, a bin you can't have them, but the rest of the kids can. Veg, I didn't need as much this week, so I picked up in the fruit and veg event, they had beetroots and spring onions, so I got those. Two cucumbers, which they've gone a bit more expensive. They've gone to like 50 something p. They used to be like 39, 40p. So they obviously are a bit out of season and a bit more pricey. Picked up some seedless black grapes. Vinny goes through these, as you can see. He was going around the supermarket eating them. Um, and yeah, I do. I literally like, I rub them on a tissue so that he can eat them because I know that you're meant to wash them first. 
picked up some little kiddie size mini British apples. These are great to put in a little bowl for Vinnie to have a snack. All the kids love my pet lunch boxes too. And they're really cheap, they're like 39p. Save you cutting your carrots up, just quick and easy to get out of the fridge. Um, bananas, we go through so many bananas. So I picked a bag of five bananas. And a Satsumas, oh my God, my boy, Vinny. He is obsessed with these, absolutely obsessed with little oranges, Satsumas, Clementines. So I got a bag of them. They were lasting probably about three days, if that. He's obsessed as a kid with them. Then I got two four pints of milk. This will not last a week. We go for at least, easy five at least. So obviously I only can fit so much in my fridge. So I picked two of them up. Chocolate raisins because Nathan loves them. Um, some like of Aldi's own version of, oh my God, what are they called? What are they called? Um, oh my God, my brain's gone dead. Leave it in the comments. I can't remember which, what are they called? Oh my God, I can't remember now. But you know what I mean, don't you, basically? The, they like the fake version of them. Ja cheap jackets, because they have none of the expensive ones in. Jives for packed lunch boxes. Mini rolls for packed lunch boxes. Plain digestive. We use these ones to have cheese on. So Nathan likes these with like cream cheese on. Um, these were cut down in the Christmas event. So I got milk and white chocolate covered hazelnuts with coffee. White chocolate covered cinnamon raisins. And they were 29p a packet. And I think they've been like £2 a packet. These were 15p each, 15 pence each guys. So I picked four up um, and the kids can just have a treat at the weekend. I then lastly got cereal. So we've got wheat shreds, we've got craze and we've got cookie crisp which is really cheap in Aldi. And that is it, that is all the bits and pieces that I picked up again, that is not my complete full shop because obviously there's other bits of pieces I have to get because I've already got nappies, I always get nappies now at Asda. My Aldi ones were leaking so I get them at Asda. And yeah, I'm gonna flip round now. So that was it, that's all the bits and pieces that I picked up. £69.23 was it I said? Yeah, £69.23. I think that is an absolute bargain. Um, and then we've got to put it all away. So everyone else hate that, you've got to like, you unpack it all and then you've got to put it all away. So yeah, that's what I'm off to do now. I've got a toddler that's been noisy behind this baby gate. But yeah, thank you very much for watching that. I've tried to do it as quick as I can so we don't bore you with my food shop. Um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, leave any comments down below and head over to my Instagram as well because I always post lots on there and I'll have posted some story of this shopping as well. So head over to my Instagram again, that is mummyright6. I will catch you all again really, really soon. Love you and leave you.